you guys like the and turn back on our video today i'm going to be doing a full makeup look i'm going to be showing you guys everything i know and everything i've learned so let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to start off with is primer and i did put on vaseline beforehand off camera just so that my face wouldn't be too dry so i'm just putting this on in dots and i'll come back to you guys when it's rubbed in Okay, next step is going to be foundation, and I'm going to be using that brush I got from Walmart just because it is a foundation brush and I want to try it out. So I went ahead and dabbed it on my face. Not much was coming out, but I got some of, that, some of it out. And this was my first attempt at trying out this brush with the foundation. And at first, I didn't know if I was supposed to dab it like a beauty blender or brush it on, but when I kept going, I found that brushing it on was better than dabbing it. And I will do more off camera. This is just so I can save camera time, give you half of the experience, and then finish it off camera so we can come back for the next step. Alrighty guys, next step is concealer. And I went ahead and I did a line under one of my eyes, so I'm doing the other one for you guys. And um, I did forget to do the forehead and chin, so I'm gonna do that off camera. And I did decide to blend this in with a beauty blender. Alrighty guys, so now I'm going to take my LA Colors baking powder and I'm going to bake. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys this. I'm not an expert at baking. I don't really know how you're supposed to do it. So all I do is just take my brush and dip it in the powder and just fluff it, spread it on my face. Um, I don't really like leave it on there and let it bake or anything. This is the easier easiest way for me and this is how I know how to do it so yeah okay guys so this is the contour and bronzing kit I have it's really not the best it's not really good for my skin tone because the contour side is like the brown is like the same color as my foundation and then the contour part is too light so I tried mixing them but I really don't need to contour because I don't need a defined cheekbone so Okay, next step is blush, and this blush is kind of really pigmented, and the brush is kind of hard on it, so it has a lot of fallout, but um, I did get a lot on um, one of the cheeks. I know that sounds weird, <laughs> lol, but um, I did blend it in more at the end. Alright, now we're going to be doing highlighter, so I'm going back to the same little kit and this is probably the only thing this little kit is good for, which is the bronzing. Um, because it's good for me as a highlighter. And um, this is the closest I have to a highlighter. And um, I went ahead and decided that I wasn't going to do eyeshadow. Just because I really don't like doing eyeshadow and I only have bright colors. I don't have nudes. Also guys, I did do my cheekbone. Alrighty, so now we're going to be trying out the e.l.f. pencil that I showed you guys. And um, when I started doing it, I was kind of rushing also, guys, just so that I can at least show you guys my first reaction to it. But I was also trying to save some camera time. But the product wasn't the smoothest. I thought it was going to be more smooth. I had to write on my hand after this clip to see if it was working. It is a little dry. It's not the smoothest, but... Hey, what do I know? I'm not an expert at doing eyebrows. But it was good overall. Okay, guys. So my eyebrows are doing good. But I decided to take some foundation and that little brush I haven't actually got to use yet. And clean them up. I don't know about you guys, but I think my eyebrows still look the same. This is how everything is looking so far. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end, and I decided to do my eyelashes, eyeliner, and mascara off camera. And yes, I am using the same eyelashes I did a review on. That's just because I haven't got any more yet. So the first eyelash I showed you guys, I cut, and I think I cut it a little bit too short. I did tell you guys that I was going to cut them the next time I put them on. And then the second one um, I'm showing you right now is one is the one I haven't cut yet that I'm cutting for you guys right now. Um, I think I cut them both a little too short, um, but we're gonna see once I put them on when I come back and show you guys. Um, if they are too short, my mom 
has some eyelashes she doesn't wear that she might let me have okay so this is what it looked like when i put it on and as you can see it doesn't even look like an eyelash so no so this is me showing you my eyeliner i didn't do a wing because i thought it looked good without a wing and um i put mascara on so for this video we're not going to have any eyelashes but i will make sure to buy some eyelashes so that we can start wearing them i could not wait until this part of the video my lips were so dry so i put on some carmax i'm not really a lip gloss fan and i don't have any clear lip gloss um so i went ahead and put on some carmax and i put on my setting spray by la colors i do need to get some more of that as i told you guys i want to get the one with sparkles in it because that does exist and if you guys haven't noticed yet i'm not doing eyeshadow like i told you guys um, I didn't want to do eyeshadow, but if you want a video of me doing just a video of eyeshadow, comment that down below, and I will do that. Alright guys, so I want to take these last couple minutes to talk to you guys. This part of the video is not going to be a voiceover. Um, I would like to go ahead and give credit when it's due. So, my friend Cray, um, she has a YouTube channel. Um, she did this video of getting to know her and um, I loved her editing skills in the video and in her description she had this app to edit videos so I downloaded it and this is the app that I'm recording off of and so I'm going to put her YouTube channel in my description so you guys can go subscribe to her because I want to give her some credit because you know if I didn't know about this app then I wouldn't have you know even tried to do this far at editing um, as in like you know the voiceover and you know the intro I don't know if that's gonna be a permanent intro that was just something I was just experimenting with but if you guys like that intro comment down below and if you guys want more voiceover videos comment that down below and if this is a nice makeup look also comment that down below I'm sitting on the floor I don't know if I already said this but I'm sitting on the floor because my windows right here and it has good lighting so you guys can see the makeup You can definitely see the blush and the color of the bronzing in my Carmex and the eyeliner. But yeah, guys, um, make sure you go and subscribe to her. I will put her YouTube channel in the description because as you guys know now, I know how to put links in the description. And so I'm going to put her YouTube channel in the description. And um, if I can, I'll try to put her Instagram in the description. I don't know how to do that just yet, but I'll try. And so, yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys would like to see from me. And if I should continue to use this app, I think um, I might continue to use it. And yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.